All right, not my best highlight video ever, but uh, still kind of a testament to the teamwork in the chat room. Um, Arena Pharmaceuticals, A-R-N-E, gapped up a little bit, gapped up over yesterday's high. If you trade it all, you know how uh, crazy this one's been. Um, anyway, when it looked like, let me get this right, when it looked like this, one of our members, Ramesh, pointed this out, um, said, hey, what about A-R-N-A? And I looked at it and said, hey, you know what? It took out yesterday's high at the open. If it gets back through the high of the day, this could work. Um, you know, maybe a dime stop, something like that. Can't remember what I said for the stop, but I went ahead and took this trade myself as it busted through 1170. And uh, I mean, in 10 minutes, it's at 1187. You can see in a five minute period here, over 2 million shares, plenty of liquidity there. So you could have had pretty decent size with a dime stop. And as always, I'm a seller into a spike like that. That did end up getting through 12 at one point. So I know there were several of us in chat that made money on that one. Um, <laughs> I meant to type in hog and I typed in Leo because I was going to say one of our members, Leo, pointed out hog when it looked like this. Now, HOG made our list of unusual volume stocks this morning because of this big volume spike here and straight up from the open. So great relative strength to the market. When a stock does this, it lands on our watch list. Now, this red five minute candle here, one thing we teach is on a um, very strong stock, we usually switch to twos and look at that eight period moving average using twos. And this is, uh, it looked like this when one of our members, Leo, pointed out, hey, hog is at the two eight. In other words, two minute candles, eight period moving average. Very clean pullback there. I'm not going to lie, I made zero off of that. I didn't get the trade, but a great alert by Leo. And then um, switching to fives, hog looked exactly like this when I pointed it out. Um, I put it on the projector. Oftentimes, again, a very strong stock relative to the market. Whenever you have something with great relative strength, another trick we employ is uh, when you get a push down to the A period, I'm sorry, the 20 period moving average. Oftentimes a strong stock like hog, and I mean really strong, during that day, you might get one touch to the 520, five minute candles, 20 period moving average. I see it happen all the time. Um, so I turned on the projector, actually said I like this around 47.11. You can see a green candle I put in here. At the time I had it on the projector, it was 47.11. I said I like it right here at the 520. You could put a stop just below 47 or an arbitrary 20 cent stop if you wanted to give it a little wiggle room. And over the course of the next 15, 20 minutes, um, it goes up to 47, maybe 30 minutes, goes up to 47.50. That's a nice little run there. Um, and the grab was literally right there on that red line. Um, so anyone that took that in our chat did pretty well. Now you can see it rolled over at the end of the day, but uh, of course it did. Look at the SPY. SPY could not catch a bounce today. Um, there was a couple nice profitable opportunities that I just showed you. Now Macy's also had relative strength. Um, one of our all-stars, Wayne, pointed out, I was looking at Macy's. This made our list because of the volume and the strength relative to the market. Wayne um, noticed that it was coming up from underneath into the 200-day moving average. Um, so that's an interesting area actually to try to short it, okay, up into the 200. The way I said, uh, to me, the prudent way to play this is not all five minute candles, but to switch to something a little wider, a little longer um, as far as time frame goes to take the choppiness and the whippiness out of it, okay? It takes you out of, um, out of the possibility or, or reduces your possibility of being whipped out by trying to do it on a lower time frame candle. So 15s, you had this nice clean doji here. Um, so the way to play that would be the first break of a 15 minute candles low. You saw almost like you had stair steps there. So below this candles low was the short idea, 34.86. And the stop would go above this candles high, 35.04. Um, what is that, uh, 17, 18 cents risk, something like that. And um, from 34.86, it fell you know, pretty quickly down a little bit, but then bounced and then rolled over with the market. So 34.86 short, went to 34.32. Um, 54 cent move in our favor, ultimately, on Wayne's alert of Macy's up into the uh, 200, coupled with my 15s idea, uh, and a pretty nice short idea on Macy's. And then, um, try that again, Cruise, C-R-U-S, was selling off uh, pretty strong here, and, um, Somewhere in here, I, when it got down to 26, I think, I started. it started to become interesting to me because on the, on the daily, this had bounced off 26, had a base here, bounced off 26 here. 
Um, so it became interesting to me around 26 bucks. I'm trying to see. I believe I called it long over this candle, 25.94, and a stop below this candle, and I lost about a dime there. Called it long again over this candle, 25.92. It went up through 26, and I actually sold uh, most of it right around 26. Went to a break-even stop because I said, "Hey, this market's super weak." All I did was get some of my money back here from this trade that failed. Um, I got some of it back there, but I had a nice trade early in the morning in uh, in arena and uh, still had a nice green day without um, without really thinking short most of the day. Um, and uh, again, real quick on the SPY, uh, just grinding lower all day. Didn't really get any kind of semblance of a bounce until the last 10 minutes or so, and that just might have been afternoon short covering. So um, I was telling our members maybe once I'm sorry, about maybe six times, the average of once a month in the past six months, I've seen days like today where there was just really no bounce at all in the SPY. And you have a nice solid red candle here. What to expect tomorrow? I always try to go and look at previous days like today. Um, right here you had a gap up and a solid red candle. Next day you had a green day. Here you had a nasty red candle. The next day you had a slight, green, uh, a slight gap up and a little bit of strength. Um, here you had another solid uh, red candle and the next day a gap up. So uh, that doesn't, none of these are guaranteed to give you again tomorrow what, what they had. But um, my point is you can't just automatically think on a weekday like that that tomorrow is shortable. Now we'll have to take it on a trade by trade or set up by set up basis. But um, pretty good teamwork in there all the same without, without me being smart enough to realize um, you know, that the market was going to sell all day. Had I identified that early with my crystal ball, I would have had a much better day. But still, um, hats off to the guys in chat. Pretty good, pretty good teamwork in there. And uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Talk to you guys later.